All right. Who here thinks they have perspective? Raise your hand. Don't be afraid. You probably all do. Come on. All right. Well, in the spirit of our theme, Anonymous Extraordinaries, I thought I'd talk about something that we all do in some capacity every single day. But if you manage to capture it and use it to your advantage, it can lead to really extraordinary results. And that is perspective. Now, all the way back in the beginning when you started kindergarten, you guys were taught to memorize. Memorize shapes, letters, numbers, colors. Just the basic things that allow you to observe the world at the most basic level. All right? And as you grow older, you realize that there are other forms of education. Most of these involve more levels of human interaction and discussion and, uh, and things called the Socratic method, things such as that. Um, so basically, why am I telling you this? Well, I believe that you can learn nearly everything you need to know to be a contributing member of society from your experiences and the experiences of others. And what this takes to take all that in is perspective. Now, what is perspective? My concept has three basic platforms. The first of which is communication. Now, it's our own personal experiences that most directly influence each of us. And our deep affection by those, by those experiences and our passion for them gives us a responsibility to share them. Others are most benefited when you're telling them about something you are passionate about. It, it, it's fine. Um, the things that, that you are most passionate about, people benefit most from. All right. Now, social media makes it really easy to communicate these ideas, but it's always most beneficial with face-to-face -face interaction. Now, I spent two years as drum major of the James River Regiment uh, for the you know, past two years in my junior and senior year. And what I learned from that experience uh, was a lot of leadership opportunities and communication things. But I think the most valuable thing I gained was my opportunity to share those experiences with others. There are countless times when I spoke to incoming band students and new members of the regiment about my experiences and how they can benefit from what I am telling them. And I can tell you that there is no better feeling than looking at a bunch of children and telling them what I've learned and seeing them take it all in. Now, so basically, sharing what you've experienced with others allows you to explore your own experiences even more deeply, as, long, as well as passing on a great deal of what you've learned to them. All right, my second platform is observation. Just as it's important to share what you've experienced, we must take advantage of the experiences of others. Many of you may have found yourselves in classrooms where you feel like the smartest person in the room. I know that you all are incredibly smart, so I'm sure this is the case for a lot of you. Now, this might feel good at the time, but what do you think you're learning from a classroom of people that may not be uh, you know, talking at the same level as you? Well, see, opening up to new ideas, maybe that are different from what you believe, may be hard, but it can often be, often be the most beneficial thing you can do. Think of your opinions as a bunch of spaghetti. Throw them against other people's experiences and see what sticks. If it doesn't, then you might need a little more refining. In this case, and I've always thought this, it's much better to surround yourself with much more intelligent people and accept being wrong every once in a while. If they have anything worth offering anyway, they're not about to ridicule you for voicing an opinion. Now, my third and final platform is empathy. Now, the first two parts I mentioned are pretty straightforward, but the last is a little more complex. Empathy is recognizing other people's emotions and acting with a measured response. In the context of perspective, however, it goes a little deeper. Empathy is investing your own feelings and emotions into the successes and failures of others. Though it can be difficult to open up like this, it can make the hard times half as bad and the good ones twice as great. Very recently, I had a good friend of mine lose someone very close to them and it was incredibly hard for both of us to deal with. Uh, at first, I didn't know what to do and thought that giving space was the best option, but it was very soon apparent that this was not the proper response. So I gave a little bit more of my time and spoke with them. And what I found was that allowing yourself to share in someone else's difficulties can make it far better for the both of you. It strengthened our relationship and it definitely lessened the burden on both of us. What it comes down to is being able to care about others as much as you do yourself and being willing to show it. Now, in closing, I'd like, you, like to leave you with a quote that always help me realize, helps me realize just how much we all have in common and how important the right perspective can be to understanding and helping your peers. It's a quote by Walt Whitman from his work, The Song of Myself, and it goes like this. In all people, I see myself, none more and not one barley corn less. And the good or bad I say of myself, I say of them. Now, I want you guys to go out in these next four years that you have with the leadership program, and I want you to care about everyone around you. 
I want you to do what's best for yourself, but also do what's best for everyone around you. Because they have as much to offer you as, much as you do to offer them. So remember, your most valuable resource is your peers. Thank you very much.